Jody, I have no idea where to begin. In just a few short hours, I have the privilege of marrying my best friend. I am so glad we met each other almost 12 years ago. Cody, eight years ago, I never realized what an incredible journey we were embarking upon together. I was drawn to you from the day we met at 14 years old in ninth grade. We grew up together and started out as friends, and that is my favorite part. You were one of the first people I met when I moved to Monticello. From the first day I met you, I knew there was something special about you. Over the years, we have both grown as individuals, along with our friendship and our love for each other. When you find love, home is no longer a place. It doesn't matter where we are, you always feel like home. We have lived countries and states apart, many conversations ending with, I'll see you soon, even if that meant months away. It was hard, but we made it. We always knew we would. I have a picture in my hand. It's of Cody and Jody at their senior prom in 2011. And, and they... And they look so happy together. They got big smiles. And the only difference I can see from today is I think they got even a little more sparkle in their eye today. I promise to inspire you the way you have always inspired me. To be your best friend, the one who takes all of the middle pieces and last bite your adventure lover that you have come to love over these past eight years. You are my best friend, and I can't wait to call you my husband. Love, your soon-to-be wife, Jody. You are the most beautiful, hardworking, driven person I know. You motivate me every day, support me in my crazy endeavors, and inspire me to do more for others. Today marks the beginning of our lifelong journey together. I cannot wait to see what God has planned for us. I love you. The sacrament of matrimony is unique among the others because it is a sacrament of life uniting man and woman to God in holiness. As spouses show honor and respect to each other and to God, what results is a multitude of graces and blessings. Cody, take you, Jody, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Jody, take you, Cody, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of your life. And introducing for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Desilier. It has been fun getting to know Jody and her family throughout these last eight years. I didn't know when this day would come, but I knew it would. Watching these two grow closer to each other and their love grow has been something special. These next few months will be 
will be a lot of new things for both of you. You guys will be going through a lot of changes, careers, starting off on your own paths, living together, marriage, and many other things. If there's one piece of advice, it would be no matter what is going on, whether it's disagreement, hard days, whatever you may have, always remember your love for one another. Remember this day and what brought you together. Always remember to say I love you. And I want you two to know that the two of you are going to make each other smile and make each other very happy throughout their, your marriage. Those of you who didn't know, I actually met Cody in middle school at his church. But during our freshman year, he came to Monticello and I introduced him to Jody. You're welcome even though it took me three years to get you both together. I knew you were the one for Jody because you're a true gentleman, you're optimistic, and you're dedicated. She was about four years old at the time, and I was out in the garage getting my truck ready to go out, prepare for a elk hunting trip to Western Montana. And Jody came out of the house and she says, Dad, I'm going with you to Montana. And I said, no, Joe, you can't come with me on this trip because I'm going to be gone. Daddy's going to be gone for quite a long time. She, and she looked at me and says, no, Dad, I'm coming with you to Montana. When I finally reached uh, Mile City that late that night, I unzipped my suitcase. And there, on top of my clothes, was this picture of Joe. And she was right all along. She did come with her dad to Montana that trip. <laughs> Jody, you have no idea how good you made me feel and how happy you made me that night. I cannot explain how excited I am to see my best friend Mary, the man of her dreams. And oh man, I have waited for this day for over eight years. <laughs> Actually, I think we all have. <laughs> These two newlyweds are a rare find in today's world. Between the two of them, this couple has beauty, brains, and two hearts of gold. Here's to a lifetime of love and happiness for their bride and groom. To many years of love and happiness. I love both of you guys. <laughs>